Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Hi, all assholeconsulting.com. Go there if you got problems, I'll take care of it. And you say, why would you take care of my problem? Because I'm the most fucking intelligent genius ever fucking ever. Did you come up with assholeconsulting.com? Did you come up with that? What kind of guy comes up with that idea? This guy right here. Huh? Yeah. Huh. All right. Uh, hey, asshole. I'm a 33-year-old dude living in Anchorage, Alaska. I do not know where to go with my life. Here's a little background. I grew up poor as fuck in the woods in Pennsylvania. Are you by Chris Beckloff, by chance? Knowing that would be a life sentence to a shit life, I joined the Army to get the hell out of town. After 13 years, three deployments, and a pretty successful career, a failed marriage, life was stale, so I left the Army to pursue my dream of becoming a pilot. I sold my nice Jeep, ran out the nice home that I lived, and I bought a 1998 RAV4 and moved into a small apartment. I used the GI Bill to make the choice of racking up some credit card debt in exchange for not having a job so I could use some every waking hour working towards my pilot goals and a little more than a year I finished my private pilot instrument commercial pilot and flight instructor ratings and found a job good for you I still use my GI Bill and still attend University of Alaska which is also one of the two flight instructor jobs I currently have I'm sure that all sounds great right I'm a fucking pilot an army vet I think you should have stayed for your extra seven fucking years got your pension on top of that, I used to be an international mountaineer climbing Denali, Ankanagagwa, Kilimanjaro, and others. Uh, here's the thing. I'm in a rut. I was dating a stripper. <laughs> Where did this go south? Can, can, all right, lieutenants, can you tell when this story started going south? You were dating a stripper. I know, but she was also a writer and a comedian, and that was good. But eventually, I just checked out mentally, and that fell apart. Then I was dating a flight attendant. Flight attendant? Fuck. There's some women you just don't date, okay? Strippers and flight attendants are like the two. And your psychology professor, which was awesome, by the way. Um, you, you just don't, no. You don't, you don't do that. And she flipped a 180 one day. Combine all that with recently running into my ex-wife, who is a life, wildlife biologist, and I think I need a change of venue. Combine that with the fact... How, how much of a change of venue? You're in Alaska. That's like the biggest freaking state ever. Can't you get lost and never see anybody for like years? I mean, like trying to find someone in Alaska. You could go without years without finding them, right? Need a change of venue. Combine that with the fact I crashed an airplane on a glacier a few weeks ago. <clears throat> I'm just not that excited to get up and kick ass in life anymore. How old are you? You're 33. All right. The I have a couple promising options. One is flying business jet type planes, working in Connecticut, and then spending a few years, a few months, a year in San Juan. Okay, that's nice. The other is flying flight instructing in Midland, Texas, with opportunity for quickly finding myself in a business jet. This Connecticut PR job sounds great to me, but that I have a new problem. I have a dog. <clears throat> oh shit, I've had him for nine years and he is my family. I don't associate with my family as they allowed me to be abs abused sexually for years. I don't make friends easily because, well, as a child slash teenager, I was always grounded and not allowed to have friends, so it's hard on me. Yeah, you're going to have to get over that. You, you go talk to a therapist about that immediately if you haven't already. He is pretty much what I have. All right, so it's, it's your dude. I have a cat, left over from marriage, blah, blah, blah. I could give her away. Yeah, give her away or shoot her. How bad are you? Just shoot it. You can. You're in Alaska. Put a bull in the fucking cat's head. Or give it away to a loving kid. You know. So the Connecticut job would involve trading, traveling, and moving somewhere new. would mean I wouldn't have a network of people whom would watch slash care for my dog. Living in Texas would alleviate the problem, but my husky would not dig the weather at all. Oh, yeah, you got a, you got a northern dog. Uh, of course, I could live somewhere else. I do have dual U.S.-U.K. citizenship. I've lived in Germany for a while, and I have been all over the U.S. I like the Mountain West, but jobs are hard to come by. All of us can give them some thought to moving to Zanzibar and flying aerial safaris into Tanzania. No shit, I love Africa. When I was there last time, all right, well, you like Africa. Hey, different strokes, different folks. I also mentioned I own a home. I charge you extra for this. 
It's tax appraised at about three hundred eighty thousand. I owe two hundred eighty-five thousand on it. I currently rent it for two hundred thousand a month. I'm torn if I should just try and sell it or keep it. I mentioned the credit card debt. I have about thirty-eight thousand worth of credit card and student loan debt. How the fuck do you have that much debt if you have the fucking goddamn GI bill? You're a cunt in that regard. You you you, you scored grade A one hundred percent purified USDA grade A cunt. Son, the house will wipe out that and give me enough cash left over to buy a motorcycle or something. <laughs> Fucking hell! On the side, I also do find it difficult to meet women, so I think when I find one, I tend to put up with shit to keep her around. I don't think I'm unattractive. I'm a bit bigger to 90, but I'm built like a lumberjack and ran an ultra marathon. Oh, yeah, you're in total shape, dude. You, you probably are a cat's meow for the girls. I do. I would like to move to a place that could would give me a good shot at meeting a companion in life. So I'm guessing I'm asking, should I move? Where to? Should I keep my house? How do I meet? Jesus Christ! No wonder I judge you so much. All right, all right. Let's go through these independently. Should you move? Yes or no? You obviously, look, I'm a big believer in changing up shit. That's why I went out to Wyoming. That's why I went to Chicago. That's why I moved shit. And it gives you context. Well, I'm not guaranteeing that if you move to Connecticut or Texas or any other place, it's going to be better. But it will get you out of your fucking funk that you're in right now over in Alaska. It may also, in the case of me, make you appreciate the fact what you had before. And you may say, holy shit, there's a lot worse things in the La than Alaska to be Connecticut or Midland, Texas. So should you move? Yes. Now, where to? I'm going with Africa, dude. I'm I totally serious. You need to find yourself because you're like all over. You I, I know you were abused and, and uh, you were married before and you got your dog. You're kind of man. Get the and dude, I was there when I was 33, seven years ago. And nothing's really changed. I mean, I was, you know, like, okay, well, what do you got to do? I think if you like Africa, you should fucking go to Africa. And that's not going to be the most financially successful route. That's not going to be even the safest route. You could get killed or get the fucking Sing -Sing virus disease or whatever the fuck those fucking Africans are developing. You get the, the HIV version 2.8. Um, but that is... Connecticut? Fucking hell. Connecticut? What the fuck are you going to do in Connecticut? Midland, Texas. Hey, okay, maybe a great thing. No, I would. I do Africa because it's different. It's you. It's fucking unique. And that's going to put things in context. Um, so that's what I would do. Um, should I keep my house? No, get rid of it, dude. No, no. I would sell your house and fucking you and your dog, man, travel that fucking world. No, there's no reason for you to have that house. And here, I don't know the local. You currently rent it for 2100 a month. I mean, yeah, you could rent it out if you wanted to keep it, but when you say a $400,000 house in Alaska, unless it's like a really ritzy part of Anchorage I'm unaware of, that's a big-ass house, ain't it? And you ain't got no kids, you ain't got no wife. Get rid of that fucking shit. You don't need that. Um, and I can't, Get rid of that fucking debt. What the fuck you got thirty five grand in student loans and credit cards for? What the fuck was that bullshit? So sell the house. Get rid of all your debt. You do a huge reset. You and your dog, you live out of the back of your truck, whatever you buy over in Zanzibar, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't think you need that house. I mean, unless you want to keep it, I mean, it's at the right, that's something you got to decide on your own there, dude. I just, it just seems like a very complicated and unnecessary thing. Um, it would give you cash, but my problem, my, my concern is if you're a dipshit enough to get 35,000 in credit card debt and student loan debt, are you gonna piss away the 100 grand in cash? I would scale down. I would sell your house. You don't need that big of a house. I take the hundred grand. I go find like a fucking Quonset hut over in Alaska somewhere. So you at least have a place to go to and live for the rest of your day, cash free. But I, I wonder if you have the fiscal responsibility, Mr. Thirty Five Thousand. I've never had thirty five thousand dollars in fucking debt on nothing, students or credit card or car. Never had a car loan. But what the fuck is that? I think you going to, uh, to Africa would also discipline you a little bit, put things in perspective. You wouldn't have no fucking 35 grand, Jesus Christ. 
All right. Uh, she keep the house. No, get rid. How do I meet better women? Well, Alaska doesn't sound exactly like the hot better women, and right now I don't think you should be worrying about meeting women. You've been divorced. You got debt. You're in this midlife crisis kind of thing. Uh, you got to figure out what you want to do. And now, how you meet better women? You got to do better things. Um, you got to go to better environments. But th th look, dude, there, there, there ain't no better women. Okay, it's not like, look, it ain't like there's this island of women that we just haven't discovered yet, okay? Most women are shit. I'm not joking you, and I hate to be so besmirching or misogynist, which I'm not genuinely a misogynist. I do actually like women. A genuine misogynist would say I hate all women. But I've, I've dated a lot of women, and, and vast majority, no, they're shit. They're fucking shit. Uh, especially American and Western women. They are shit. Now, there are good ones, and you have to find them. And you have to hold standards. But, dude, I've... You're, you make it sound like you can go hunt them down like you can a goddamn deer. You can't. They'll fall into your life. So go live your goddamn life. Go down to Africa. I mean, maybe you meet a nice African girl. A little jungle fever. What's wrong? I mean, do you like black women? They got them down there. <laughs> yes, they do have black women in Africa. I'm just saying... Don't... Trying to find women is a loser's game. Go live your life and you'll run into the women that are interesting. You might find a very great, wonderful black woman down in Africa. You might find a white woman. You'll find of any potential variety of races down in Africa, but the vast majority will be black. Uh, I'm just saying, you you know, you go fly your plane, you go do the safari, you do it, all of a sudden there's like, you know, a hot little piece of black tail that comes by and she's like, hey, how you doing? And you're like, fine, I'm flying my plane. This is my dog, George. And she's like, oh, I like dogs named George. And, and, and you fly a plane. And, and then who knows? Maybe she's a mechanic. Or she does the safari things. And then there's a little sexual tension. And then uh, you're fucking her in your plane while your dog's up in the Ford cabin with the fucking headphones on. And he doesn't know what's going on that you're fucking the girl in the back of the fucking plane. I... I, I would put women at the back of the list. No, there's no way you can proactively chase women. I mean, you can, but you got bigger shit on your plate, and until you resolve that crap, you ain't going to find a good woman. So um, I would just go do your thing, and the women will show up. I would like a video response. Thank you. Oh, I believe your Yeah. Kilimanjaro. Yeah, no, dude, you did like the fucking shit. I, I'm wondering if going back into the military wouldn't be the best move for you. Um, I that that would be kind of like Plan C. Uh, but okay, should you move? Yes. Where? To, this is just me. I could be completely wrong. Should you move? Yes. Where to? Africa. Should I keep my house? No. Sell it. Pay off your fucking debt and don't ever motherfucking accrue any more debt. How do I meet better women? Doing your own fucking thing and figuring out your own life, and they will gravitate towards you like the law of gravity. It's Kepler's law. No, Newtonian physics, not Kepler's law. What was Kepler's law? I'm going to look that up after this. Um, no, dude. you got to figure out your own shit before you start presenting yourself to other women. And I think you figuring out your shit and going to Africa and having a good time and living your life, doing it, don't worry about women. Don't worry about it. They'll, they'll, they'll come later. It's a great thing about being a guy. We can always date when we're older. So... Okay, anyway, that's the direct answer to your questions. You can't get rid of your dog. You're going to have to keep him. I think you should go down to Africa with you, and I think you're going to have a hell of a different life and a much more interesting life if you do that Africa stuff. Connecticut and Texas will always be there. I don't know if Africa will be. So, anyway, hope that helps. Hope that gives you a little bit of a kick in the ass. Toodles.